We're now with the Sports Authority. Uh, Emmett, JD, welcome. Uh, Emmett, if you could introduce yourself and your colleagues and then um, talk a little bit about what your year has been like and what your budget thoughts are. Thank you, Mayor. I have with me today J.D. Elliott, the chair of the Metro Sports Authority. Also joining us in the room will be Sean Henry, the general manager for the Bridgestone Arena, and Walter Overton, who is the general manager for L.P. Field. J.D., do you have any? Well, it's our pleasure to participate in the budget hearings. Uh, I just want to comment that uh, we work very well with the city and all the different departments that relate to the Sports Authority. I want to just tell you, Mayor, we appreciate their support and, and how they help us finance, legal, etc. And we're just trying to continue the tradition of providing as many good, wholesome events as we can at uh, the two venues we are responsible, LP Field and Bridgestone Arena. And things are going great. Uh, we feel very good about them. And uh, Emmett's going to talk about the numbers. <laughs> okay. Thank you, J.D. Uh, the Sports Authority was formed by the Tennessee State Legislature January 8, 1996, to serve as a financing mechanism and to serve as manager for, the Na for Nashville's two professional sports venues, the Coliseum and the Arena. The state statute gives the Metropolitan Government of Nashville Sports Authority the ability to implement a ticket surcharge and to collect state and local sales tax generated by tickets, concessions, and merchandise sales in the two facilities. That revenue is used to pay Metro and Sports Authority bond obligations for the two facilities. The goal of the Sports Authority directors is to provide the citizens of Davidson County with the best managed sports and entertainment facility in the world. We support the mayor's budget initiatives with its focus on education and public safety. In that spirit, we present our budget reflecting a 2% cut. Our goal is to continue to find ways to provide the highest level of service regardless of the funding considerations. Today, Mayor, we want to share with you some of our successes and to present to you today's financial analysis in the form of a budget summary. The staff and management of the facilities accomplished a great deal last year, and we're proud of those accomplishments. LP Field has just hosted international soccer with matches on Thursday, Saturday, and Monday, where thousands of fans attended and reported that it was the best soccer event ever. U.S. soccer spokesman Neil Booth was asked why Nashville. He said, as always, a lot of facilities are in play when selecting international uh, match venues. He said, facility availability, locker room space, you have to have enough locker room space for four teams. Other events that precede the match because you're concerned that they might rip up the field. Frequency of U.S. soccer visits to the uh, venue. The type of surface, the seating capacity, weather, travel logistics, etc. So LP Field checked all the right boxes. The quote from Mr. Booth is, the field is in great shape and they have such a great staff there and really go out of their way to support the event. This is one of the highest praises for the staff at LP Field because international soccer now sees Nashville as being a uh, international soccer friendly community venue and they appreciate the professional staff uh, at LP Field who are old hands at managing thousands of individuals because they do it on a uh, weekly basis during the NFL season. When uh, Butch Spearden was asked the same question about why Nashville, Bush Spirit and the uh, Nashville Convention Visitors Bureau president said, 20 years ago, Nashville was being compared to Little Rock, Arkansas, Charlotte, and Austin, Texas. Now we're measured against New Orleans, Los Angeles, Orlando, and Dallas. So there's been a sea change, Mayor, in the way that people look at Nashville. I hear it in the speeches that you make in the public when you say to us, Let's start looking at Nashville in a different way with a major convention center coming online. Uh, we may be the last ones to get that message because in the world that we compete, uh, those folks know that Nashville is in a competitive race and leading the pack in a lot of different areas. When we measure our facilities against other facilities, we have consistently outperformed them as it relates to customer satisfaction surveys. Our stadium is one of the lowest percentile ticket prices uh, in the NFL. In order to continue to host world-class events with the leadership of the mayor and the Metro Finance Department, we recently arranged for more than $25 million in bonds to be paid uh, using 
revenue generated by the seat use fee. The stadium improvements that are undergoing as we speak will include express elevators, access to stadium seats in the, in the upper levels of the building as never before, modern visual displays and sound systems, and a new fan zone with concessions and fan-friendly amenities. Again, in 2011, Polestar, the industry leader as far as assessing venues, recognized Bridgestone Arena for the fourth straight year as uh, the Polestar uh, con Concert Industry Arena of the Year. In 2011, the Academy of Country Music Venue of the Year was awarded for the second time in three years for Bridgestone Arena. Bridgestone Arena is recognized as the sixth busiest venue in the United States for the second consecutive year. Earlier this month, Bridgestone Arena played host to SEC Women's Basketball in March, and then the Men's uh, Basketball Tournament, second and third rounds, uh, March 16th and 18th. The Nashville Predators are enjoying a record-breaking season with franchise-best 22 sellouts already, and they anticipate selling out the remainder of the three regular season home games before entering the Stanley Cup playoffs. One of the things that happened, Mayor, when the uh, new local ownership group uh, came into the Bridgestone Arena, the management there, the, the local owners, uh, embossed a coin and issued the coin to executives at the Bridgestone Arena. On one side of the coin is the Stanley Cup, and on the other side of the coin is Bridgestone Arena. So they think about they think about this coin every day uh, when they go to work. And I, I just uh, mention that to you as a single focus on making the arena better. Uh, it's something that uh, Sean and the hundreds of people that work there think about every day. You see that from Walter Overton when you look at the uh, kinds of moves that they've tried to make in the offseason as far as getting quality players here. So there is a commitment by the professional sports community in meeting the goals that you set for us, which are very high, but to make sure that our fans are, are handled here just like they would be handled in any uh, arena, venue, any place in the world. So uh, we thank you for that, Mayor, as far as leadership is concerned. I also want to applaud you, Mayor, for your challenge to us uh, about uh, living a, a more healthy lifestyle and the walk 100 miles with the mayor. And also the first ever uh, Mayor's uh, Day, uh, Mayor's Field Day with the Tennessee Titans on May the 5th. <coughs> LP Field is proud to host that event, and it's a, a free event. Uh, we encourage all the community to come down and see uh, the activities related to that. Uh, we just see them participate in the activities. That's see them the key. participate. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, Mayor. Uh, the other things that we'll be showing off and, and our guests will be able to see will be uh, the uh, the Cumberland uh, Park is, is rapidly moving toward opening, and they'll be announcing the openings uh, soon. You'll see a, uh, a new building there that is uh, uh, some, some of the locals refer to it as the Nebrico building or the Ingram Barge building that has been renovated and is waiting for an anchor tenant uh, that uh, has not been selected but will be shortly. That will be exciting for our guests to see as they see one of the premier spots on the Cumberland River as far as uh, uh, restaurants are uh, concerned. So there's a lot of excitement on the riverfront. Uh, we're going to break ground soon on phase two of what goes on on the east side uh, to offer additional fan-friendly uh, green space. Uh, the uh, the mayor has uh, led us in uh, a survey of our buildings to, to look at uh, how to make those buildings more green. We're happy to announce that with the concurrence of the board, uh, a solar charging station for automobiles will be located on LP Field site uh, in conjunction with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, National Electric Service, the Tennessee Titans, and others. Uh, we're going to have a place for uh, green vehicles to uh, uh, and we encourage people to use that because it will be one of the, the premier spots in the United States, one of the early uh, solar-powered charging stations, certainly in the state of Tennessee. You have a solar power, energy electric-powered car, you can use it. <coughs> Reason to get one now. <laughs> exactly. So, so Mayor, I'll, I'll pause unless you have uh, any questions about that. We've, uh, we, we've scrutinized the budget. We've found uh, ways to uh, live within uh, what you've asked us to do. Mm -hmm. We've take, uh, 
very great pride in uh, our uh, daily operations as far as professional sports uh, relationship with the, the Titans and the Predators. We're looking every day to uh, make a trip to one of our uh, uh, venues uh, something that is memorable for, for families. So I'll pause and, and let well, you I think the big, um, the big development this year was the um, – $26.8 million worth of uh, upgrades using the seat user fee at LP Field and the bonds that can be issued as a result of that. I mean, I think one of the things that um, I don't know the Sports Authority kept in mind is that, you know, the city owns the building, but it's certainly in our interest as a city to maintain the building. It's also in our interest to make sure the Titans have the best facility possible in which to play and, um, and to have a great experience for fans. Walter, do you want to give us an update or all on where <coughs> that is? Or yes. You um, can step up to the mic here. Come on up, Walter. Thank you. <laughs> Construction is, is well on its way. Uh, we are currently uh, uh, demolishing the uh, scoreboards. Uh, we've also taken down the signs uh, so that we can uh, start putting up the ribbon boards. Uh, we started uh, doing the work and putting up uh, the conduit so that we can run the speakers. We'll have over 400 plus speakers in the stadium that will be distributed sound. Certainly will be a lot better than the sound that we've had in there for the last 13 years. Which is a cluster on the south can't side. Get, can't, it can't get worse. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. And also, what I'm really excited about is having the uh, 12 elevators, uh, six on each side, the southwest side and the southeast side, that will uh, transport fans. Is that what the crane? That's what the cranes are working on. Yes. The cranes are working on now. That's yeah. exactly right. There is a large hole, and they're fabricating and making sure that we can uh, fit those uh, six elevators on each side there that will transport all of the fans that have been loyal to us for 13 years that have uh, walked up and down those ramps. So it's very important to make sure that we try to accommodate those fans. And also uh, the fan accommodation areas that will certainly be an enhancement uh, where people that don't want to uh, be in the parking lot tailgating, they can now come inside and uh, tailgate there. So. That's a, those are pluses. That's something that had been underutilized, and now we have the opportunity to use those and make sure that fans are accommodated. And we certainly do appreciate uh, your help, Mayor. Well, sense. I think it's right to maintain the stadium, and it's and you know the stadium. You mentioned soccer. I mean, one of the reasons we did so well in that World Cup competition as a city where, United, where the United States selection group put Nashville as one of the cities where the World Cup would have been held if right. they had properly been granted to the United States. That's right. Um, <laughs> that no LP Field was key to that. And LP Field being a place that people recognize as a state-of-the-art um, stadium for all sorts of events is, mm -hmm. is vital. And I want to say publicly thank you to the Titans for all your help on the May 5th event. You can't publicize that enough. Right. Again, it's for everybody, 5 to 105 form teams. It's going to be fun. Titan players will be there. That's the right. water park will be open. Right. It should be a great day, and it's all emphasizing um, getting fitter. I'm sure yeah. Mr. Reveling is organizing the finance team as I speak. <laughs> <laughs> We're organizing We'll be kind of tied up until May 1st. But assuming we have a successful budget presentation on May 1st, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll audit the results. <laughs> Very good. Thank We're looking forward to it. And you're still, everything's still on track to be done for football season? Yes, because we, we, plan, to, uh, we plan for completion to be by August 1st. We have, we're in the process of scheduling our home preseason games to the last two weeks in August so that we can make sure that everything is, is running and everything is working. And within budget. That's a little budget. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sean and Jeff, any playoff predictions you want to give us since we have you here? And yeah, uh, playoffs is a reason. Right? Stand up. Have a seat, Jeff. No beer in the bench. Which is a good sign. <laughs> Uh, playoff predictions. I think we're, I think we're pretty well poised. You know, we clinched yesterday. Yeah, I uh, saw the 
asterisk or whatever the mark is next to the predator. The big debate, Mayor, is um, do you start the beard when you clinch or do you start the beard when you start playing? And so we, we decided. Beard, not beard. <laughs> beard, yeah, B A R D. B on the end. Right. Um, no, we're excited. We're, um, we're excited both on the ice and off the ice, and we think we have a real chance this year. And uh, David did a masterful job at the trade deadline, and um, getting Raguloff back at that time was certainly a gift from heaven, and we're excited. Yeah, I saw him play, I guess, his first game at home, and I thought he was he was really, he seemed energized and really, really, really played well. What, um, can you talk a little bit about um, just how the arena has done, not just with hockey, which has been a tremendous season with 22 sellouts and the season's going to go on clearly for a while more and hopefully a long ways more, about how the, the arena has done with other events in terms of uh, bringing people into the building? and um, I'll defer to my partner who has a point on that. and can speak uh, much more intelligently than I can uh, on the specific numbers. Well, I don't speak about numbers, <laughs> but I think Emmett summed it up really well. It's a great year for the arena again. Back-to-back -back top ten finishes, which is tremendous. Top ten in the uh, rankings of... The rankings in the busiest venue in, in the country. And what we talked about when Jeff and I first got here almost two years ago is it's important you know, <coughs> to maximize every growth that we can have. Every show that we have, if we can outperform Miami, Chicago, St. Louis, the industry takes notice, and now we're seeing the fruit of a lot of those. You know, last year we had a few back-to-back um, -back shows, something that doesn't happen that often or didn't happen that often. And I think as we continue to have success, it really breeds a new awakening for all types of music you know, to come to our building. And uh, one thing that Emmett neglected, the only thing is we just received uh, our third straight ACM award for 2012. So the industry is really noticing what we're doing. Uh, the partnership that we enjoy is a big reason behind it. You know, the building has a new energy, a new um, sense of personality, and uh, it couldn't be better right now. Mr. Mayor, the number that the board tracks would be the number of guests to the building, and just to give you that data point, in 2010 and 11, Bridgestone Arena hosted 1.4 million guests. That's a 30% increase over 29 and a 40% increase over 26. That's an important year to note because that's when uh, the new partnership went into effect, obviously, you know, with the city and sports authority. <coughs> you know, 40% growth since that birth of that uh, baseline year. Yeah, you see, very well. you feel the, the excitement on Lower Broad, and I mean, the city is energized. Um, I think every night, but particularly when there's an event in the arena, it's uh, it's got to be good. Yeah, it we looks were all, great. We were just. Uh, voted the best game day experience in the entire NHL. So you got to remember, there are a lot of snobs in Toronto and New York and Boston and Montreal that control that voting for the most part. I said Boston. I said Boston. He said Boston. I said New York. I misunderstood what he said. I'm a man. I'll say it over. What Mr. Henry said. Boston, Boston. Those are not part of my comments, Mayor. Those are his comments. Again, we're talking about good thing. We talk about the Red Sox later. But what was fun about that is when you talk about the best game day experience, that's not just in the building. That's in the building and outside the building. And you look at the energy that we do enjoy with Broadway and everything else that's going on. People are noticing it. So it's well, I like fun. the, um, particularly now with the playoffs and the warmer weather, yeah. they have that area around the arena where you fence off and yeah. sort of create a fan event there. Yeah, festival every night. Yeah, so that really sounds really good. Yeah. Well, great. So, great. best of luck in the playoffs, and uh, I'll be there. And thank you for the reports. Great work, and we appreciate it all you, what you do for the city. Thank you, Mike. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.